So I've been working on my musicians and I did one for Nerdy Family and a couple of musicians and stuff. So now I want to do my little family over here. <laughs> you know, they're far away. So see what that means. I'm going on at it. But I think I did okay. I mean, it's not very often you get to do celebrities <laughs> and musicians. Because you just want to be accurate. You know, I had to cool go to had to go to blind first. Like an empath thing, I know. I thought everybody was like me. Nope. <laughs> I got gold. <laughs> I don't know why. A yellow precious metal. A deep lustrous yellow or yellow brown color. Her eyes were light green and flicked with gold. Her ankles and wrists were glinting with gold. Considered precious, beautiful, or most superior quality. Gold medal. She claims she was robbed of a gold. <laughs> this is telling me our hearts are all three made of gold. It's loved her. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. I was also called to get my books out. I got this desk going on, so now I'm called to get my little fairy book out. But we're not going to do that this evening or this morning. Or <laughs> Give me some more Holy Spirit. Hmm. A lead foot. Lead. Nickel. So you just if you're driving, young lady, <laughs> I'm hearing don't go so fast. Use a reference to a person's habit of driving too fast. Have a lead foot. I do it too sometimes. Just be careful, please. Nickel, five cent coin, coat with nickel. It's far easier to copper an article than to nickel it. Capable of high polish, resistant to corrosion, used in alloys and as a catalyst. That's cool. Give me some more. Holy Spirit, give me one more. Give me one more of these. We got sodium and salt. These are actually all chemicals it's telling me that we relate in this area with addictions and that sort of thing um chemical element is a soft silvery white the most common element it makes up 2.6 percent of the earth's crust highly reactive metal 1806 davy discovered that chemical bonding oh <laughs> we're bonding was an electrical in nature after an electrical split appeared to have luster of silver on the back is used caustic soda as his, as his source of the element. Humans need sodium to maintain correct fluid balance in their cells. Sodium produced in heavy stars when atoms of neon gain a proton found in nature as a compound and never as a free element. Reactivity. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else Holy Spirit has me in the church. My musicians over there. My little sister in law here too. My daughter. Obviously that <laughs> driving with lead foot <laughs> probably about just be careful if you're going on, on a trip or on the road or you know, you drive too fast. The lovers, which is also could signify like a twin flame. Um, four of pentacles. Son of Swords. Yep, <laughs> that's com confirming that you, your relationship looks like it's going well. Looks like your yin and yang are balanced out too. It's a give and take relationship. It's not just take, take, take. <laughs> that's cool. I like hearing that. What else, Holy Spirit? Give me some more. <laughs> Judgment and Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So... Maybe your family member is just a little bit too judgmental about your relationship, your your boyfriend or girlfriend. And that's okay. They're probably still bonding, like I was saying a little bit ago. What else? Why are they so judgmental? Is it like critical or just discernment? Critical. Or 
it just stay in there. Yeah, it's really hard to get rid of. That's the big thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like it's just discernment, just to be on the safe side of things. You know, you want to make sure you're on the right path, that you're being honest with yourself, um, because you are their daughter. <laughs> yep. That's cool. Not, I want to say names so bad. <laughs> I never used to do that. I was, I'm doing pretty good without names. So I cast this out too, like in the ancient world and like in the anonymity world. So it's kind of cool. What else, Holy Spirit? What about this stuff here? What about this stuff? Does she know that, that she's just loved and just safety is priority with the way the world's going yeah see you could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces i'm not sure i could be wrong it's okay but see how there's a little mermaid <laughs> but maybe you just watched the movie the little mermaid just came out too yeah i could even be an air sign too gemini libra aquarius um, it's kind of like you're torn between, um, just what I'm hearing is you're torn between two loves. You don't know which way to go. This is for the daughter. Mm -hmm. Like one is like a bad boy and one is just a real sweetheart. Well, I'll just tell you to go with the sweetheart. It's just. It feels like it's boring because sometimes we're just used to the chaos. You get kind of used to it. That doesn't mean that you have to stay. You have to try new things or um, give things a chance. Okay. <laughs> There's some bad boys. <laughs> and your your father knows it. Your mother knows it. I know it. How they can handle their parents. So. Give me some more Holy Spirit. Give me some. And if it's not you, this could be one of your friends, too. <clears throat> don't even have to be the same gender either. That's just crazy. That this whole knowledge thing, I call it human geometry. <laughs> um, yep, you're balancing. This could be you or this could be your dad. It could be your family member. Um, balancing out. The light and the dark in themselves, so they can be in the upright with the Lord or the Holy Spirit or whatever your higher power is. You just want to be in the upright, on the right road, on the right track. Hmm. And that's basically confirming to me that you are, we all are here on the right track. So, but to say, have no fear. <laughs> I'm going to grab a couple cards here and then I'm going to pull some of the cards and I'm going to sleep. Okay. Yep, see, this is me getting ready to go to sleep. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Mm -hmm. um, somebody's um, just resting, also, maybe chill and watch a movie. Um, then you have like a family member that just is just wild. Mm -hmm. But have no fear, Superman. <laughs> I don't know why I'm supposed to say this stuff. Half the time we don't know. We just do. And if you relate, cool. And sometimes I'll listen to others and I'm like, are they freaking nuts? And I'm like, hmm, touche. I probably sound like it too. It's a little cheap. Right. Holy Spirit, give me something to help us move towards the future. How can we move forward? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay. Lots of peace of mind and personal freedom. Take caution and 
Be aware of others' actions and material loss. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. An embarrassing secret. There's part of that balancing out your light and your dark there, so I'm understanding. Um, there's a woman in your life, a manager, a mother, a judge, um, mentor even, musician, loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others but forgetting to care for other self, trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, and follow your heart. Earth sign, too. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Yeah, you know, just giving me like time means more to me than money ever could, you know? Being able to say that somebody cares. I know it sounds bad, but <laughs> some of us out here, I guess, are like working. Uh, it's a happy marriage, a friend of yours, or you, it could be you, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, and people that you can trust. That's how ironic is that? <laughs> the wheel is going to turn in our favor. You got to be careful. Um, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity, who have questionable motives. So kind of just do like your pros and cons of, of stuff. Mm -hmm. The need to move on, seeking more from life. That's me. I know that's right. <laughs> I get kind of stuck on the shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, I don't think about it. I just subconsciously replay it like a movie over and over. And we know. <laughs> the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing a spiritual quest. Choosing to make big life changes and a change in priorities. Leaving home. Okay. You could be like wanting to go on a vacation or to college or move in with your boyfriend. And you actually could even be moving closer to your family. And me, I just love you leaving home. It's scary, but I just want ready. So, anything else, Holy Spirit, that you'd like me to mention? Love, love, love. Mm -hmm. Love you. Good night.